Hey guys, this is my review of the new Xenorex Buster XA, which looks to be the Xenorex's uh, final form. We're going to unbox the kit, and then I'm going to do a lot of comparisons to other collar variants. No action footage this time. You can see that in my review of the Buster unit, which I'll link at the end of this video and in the description below. Let's get started. Shop. All right, let's start with the box art as usual. Uh, really cool pose here again. Um, I personally, I just, I appreciate the more sort of sci-fi or at least modern looking background here uh, to the ruined temple that the, um, that the Scissors XA uh, version has. Uh, the pose is really cool very sort of reminiscent of uh, the Genosaur, I have to say. Still though, I actually, I think, I think I overall like the pose on the Scissors XA box a little better, but it's not a huge deal. Otherwise, it's really pretty much the same information. We've got, it says core drive system here to let you know that you can also use this guy with core drive weapons, but the Buster unit, of course, is not a core drive weapon. Uh, this says uh, Xeno Evolution System, of course, because that's what this actually is. So it's Wild 58. Uh, by now, by the, by the way, it looks like 59 is going to be another one of those sets with uh, collar variants, which, by the way, I was trying to get the last one, but I never got one. So, yeah, we'll see about the next one, I guess. Um, on the back here, also following the, uh, following the design uh, of all of these units so far, it shows us here that it walks. Uh, it shows us the gimmicks of the uh, Buster weapons that I, whoops, sorry, the gimmicks of the Buster weapons that I already showed you uh, previously in the uh, review of the Buster unit. Uh, the scope moves forward and back, the barrels move in and out, and you can open the beer can launchers on the side. Uh, and here, this, this uh, schematic of the various evolutions of the Xenorex uh, is complete. Now, which makes me a little concerned about what's going to be next, if anything. Here we have the uh, Xenorex, uh, I mean the Buster XA Xenorex in baby mode. I'll be curious to see what this looks like, because it actually looks pretty good here. Um, and uh, the same picture of the extra parts all laid out that we've seen before. Uh, nothing unexpected on the sides. So let's take a look at the collars these parts come in. Uh, like with the Scissors XA, I'm not going to go in and do a really extensive unboxing here because there's nothing in this box that we haven't already seen, but we're still going to take a look, of course. Uh, instructions, um, yeah, as with the Scissors XA, we actually just get the standard Center X instructions and the instructions for the Buster unit. Still think that's lame, but oh well. Um, this is... Uh, these are uh, the regular tail parts. Um, these are, I hate that these, they keep molding these in orange. It's just, uh, we'll see what it looks like, but I mean, it made sense with the Xenorex because it's blue, you know, and I am nothing if not an appreciator of complementary collars, but it's not really complementary with these collars, is it? Okay, we've got two A backs here, which means which means nothing. Um, no, actually they mixed up the parts. Yeah, hold on. So what is all this? Um, if you'll remember in the Scissors XA box, uh, it was pretty much just a standard Xenorex with a separate, um, separate back for the Scissors unit, but it Oh, actually, no. No, no, no. I'm just... I'm just talking out my unspeakables. Um, this is the Buster unit. And that's the Xenorex. Let's take a look here. Boom, 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 boom. Spill this all out. Just want to take a look at the colors real quick because I like this. Oh, yes. So all of the gray parts from the Buster unit. Let's take a look here. This is the Xenorex with the Buster unit attached. See, these are sort of this warm uh, gunmetal-ish gray. 
And they come in this cool blue here, which is one of my favorite colors in the world. So that's all the warm gray parts, the neck extension and the feet and the tail extension. In other words, the black parts from the buster unit are light silver in this case. Yeah, and otherwise, of course, you know, it's all the same stuff. So I'm not gonna go through all of this again, but I will say I'm very impressed with this collar and super excited to see what it looks like all put together now. Um, here we have the uh, gearbox, of course. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at this here. These are the mechanical pieces and the feet for the Xenorex. Now I'm curious, this is a very warm gray tone and it's yeah, more or less the same as this. You know what that means? Probably gonna have to, it's, it's almost the same color. Um, I may have to, may have to. You're all gonna wanna see what these parts look like if I got combine them all in one beast. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna get angry comments. Um, why didn't you, and you'd be absolutely right, by the way. Not making fun of people for expecting complete reviews because that's what we do here on RoboShop. Yeah, and here, this is, uh, put this away. These parts are, I'm looking at the Xenorex. Uh, these parts are, yeah, pretty much this is the same color as on the standard Rex. It's the sort of lightly cool silver. Um, okay, so let's open the last bag. <clears throat> mm, a dark gunmetal collar. Um, these would be... Um, and take a look here. These are, oh, these are the blue parts from the standard Rex, okay. And um, they're, yeah, this, this isn't a color that we've seen before. So that's all the blue parts. They come in this sort of almost black, very dark gray. And here we have uh, the canopy, which is the same color. These ugly orange parts that they keep molding in orange. And the caps are the one color here that I'm not too excited about. Yeah, the caps are this very intense, sort of almost purplish blue. That probably gonna look okay with the other colors, but I'm, I'm still, I'm just not a fan of like super intense blues. All right, uh, and that's it, really. Um, conclusion, I love this collar and the rest, if nothing else, looks okay. So I'm gonna put this guy together and then we're gonna do a million, bajillion, bazillion comparison shots uh, until you don't wanna see comparison shots no more. See you in a bit. Before we do anything else though, here's the Buster XA all put together. Like I expected, I think it's pretty clear that we're looking at the nicest combination of collars out of all the Xenorexes here, although I also still think the cap should have been black and not blue. The orange insides don't really bother me much though, mostly because you can barely see them, and it's actually also kind of nice to have the orange of the canopy repeated somewhere else on the Zoid. Here's a comparison to the standard Rex with the Buster unit. I definitely like the Buster XA better myself, but it's not as extreme a difference as with the Scissors XA and the Painted Blades. They're both alright, but I really think the collars just go together a bit better on the Buster XA. Speaking of the Scissors XA, here's a comparison to that one, for no particular reason other than I wanted to throw my white balance out of whack and take a really crappy picture. Here's the Buster XA with the add-on parts removed. I think in this setup it shines even more clearly as the best collar variant so far. I'm still not a fan of that silver tail segment, but the neck actually looks good because it matches the collar of the jaw and the arms. Here it is in baby mode and without any unnecessary collar contrast from the extension pieces. I gotta say that gunmetal is just clearly the best collar for this guy. I mean, you be the judge, but honestly, who are we kidding? Now, here's the setup I promised to do in the unboxing. This is the Buster XA with all of the weapon and extension parts from the Buster unit set. I think I like the collar of the weapon parts from the Buster XA a little too much, but I'm gonna say this still looks pretty good. Now, one of my regular commenters, the Mopomi, and sorry if I butchered your name, uh, the Mopomi asked to see what the Buster XA version would look like with the black scissors weapons from the scissors unit, so here's a look at that. 
And while I was doing this, I had another idea. The extension parts in the Buster unit are also black, so if you take those and the Buster XA and the black scissors unit weapons, you get this, which is probably the version with the least amount of mismatched collars that you're going to be able to pull off. And here's that setup without the scissors weapons, so just the Buster XA with the Buster unit extensions, which I happen to think also looks really good. Alright, I think that's about all the comparisons and part swaps I can think of. So, for my personal tastes, I think they've definitely saved the best version of the Xenorex for last. My sole complaint here is the color of the caps, but other than that, they finally made one that I'm unequivocally happy with. And I'm very seriously tempted to get a second one, just so I can do my own personal configuration next to the standard Buster XA setup. If you're only going to get one Xenorex, I think this is the one you want. Or, you know, buy everything and do some creative part swapping like I did, but I think a lot of you are on a budget, so that's my recommendation here. Well, and that's it for this one, folks. I've got the Twin Pile Bunker to review next, and then, well, then I don't know what's going on with Zoids Wild, so we'll see. I've got plenty of other stuff that I can show you, but in all honesty, I hope we get some news for Zoids Wild soon. Anyway, if you'd like to support this channel, I've got PayPal and Patreon links in the description, or you can just give this video a like, that helps me out too. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.